up guys welcome to top phone for you today i'm going to show you a quick and easy fix for those uh, uh, google protection error when uh, you've installed google play store on your tablet how to fix them so at the moment i've got the huawei MatePad pro i've done a video how you can downgrade using the pc and uh, another one uh, using uh, the uh, usb storage so uh, make sure you check my other video uh, and to see how uh, you can uh, uh, downgrade your tablet and um, please note you can only downgrade if your tablet come uh, with uh, an older firmware other than that if your tablets come with a, a newer firmware you have to uh, find the firmware yourself uh, on the internet or the best site i found so far to download the firmware will be easy firmware uh, and uh, you'll be able to search your model and make sure you download as i'll show you here when you go onto the uh, system settings make sure you get the one which has the same number um, as uh, your tablet otherwise you will have uh, uh, issues uh, um, downgrading to that firmware so where well, this one is uh, running on the latest one 10.1.0.180 and uh, the code to downgrade is a c4e uh, 32e and that number there so where uh, if uh, i'm just gonna show you if you go to uh, bz firmware and search You can try and search it and see if you can find a free one but um, if you don't then the best one i found so far is uh, this one so you just go to hallway so and uh, search for um, firmware and this one is the m series and then if you scroll down till you see your device uh, model number so this one is uh, mrx uh, w09 there you go so uh, if i click on that uh, on that mrx w09 as you can see there the it's got different region different firmware so mine is uh, there is a c432 there's this one 10.1.0.1.5.1 but the uh, LZ Play, I've tried it on the 10.1.0.1.20, which works fine. And uh, I, I have a link where you can download it for free. But this is uh, where that firmware was downloaded from. So if your model number is there, then uh, you can uh, download it and then follow the um, OTG a USB uh, version to downgrade your firmware. If you have the Huawei MatePad 10.4, uh, that one is a newer tablet and uh, has been released in April 2020. So, uh, and the firmware on it was already uh, designed to block LZ Play. So uh, there is no option to install Google services on that tablet for now. If you have uh, one of those tablets, don't bother searching for um, a way if, uh, of installing Google services because you won't find it anywhere. Any video you see on YouTube, um, it will ask you to downgrade it to earlier version to get Google services working. But uh, for the Huawei MatePad 10.4, you cannot get an older firmware which uh, support LZ Play for now. Uh, as soon as I find a way, I'll make another video. So uh, make sure you uh, subscribe um, to get notified when uh, I get that video live. So if you still, after you install all the Google uh, apps and services and you still get a notification, you just need to keep repeating these two steps. Um, keep tap on, on number three. And then once you get to uh, the final stage where you say all Google services has been installed and then but you still get a notification switch to this button where it will try and fix the Google um, contacts and then proceed to tap on three again you can perform a, a restart um, about three four times before Google services will stop the notification on this tablet uh, sometimes uh, it, they stop after the second attempt and uh, sometimes I have to go uh, through three, four times before the Google notification stop. So you just need to keep installing Google services and uh, clear the cache and clear the data 
uh, onto the Google framework and then restart your tablet, go through that cycle about three, four times, and then eventually the uh, error will stop. So uh, on this one, I've got Google services working, no errors at all. So, um, and um, if you've done uh, that about three, four times, and uh, if you still get a notification, I've, I've got a file, I'll leave a link in the description below. So you just uh, you need to go onto that link and download it. And um, so it is uh, this file here this right here so you just need to extract it tap on more extract to current directory and then okay and then once you extract it you just need to, to uh, open go onto your settings and then apps and then go to apps again and then search for just uh, tap on that show system processes and then search for google and then you need to uh, go onto the google services and then go onto the storage then clear cache and clear data and then uh, once you do that uninstall and then go open your file explorer and then go to that file i just uh, you just downloaded from uh, the description below there and then you just go to that file and then install that the gms notification fix and um, once you install it restart and then uh, see if the notification stop uh, if they don't and then you have to install install uh, the the next one which uh, will uh, fix the uh, notification once you perform those steps and uh, if you still uh, get in the notification error so the only option left for you is to disable notification for Google services for now uh, until there is um, a new way to stop those uh, notification. So um, hopefully that uh, will help you uh, get your tablet up and running and with no error. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, enable notification for my latest video. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe and uh, I'll see you on the next one.